So you got yourself this thing called Super Cruise Assist and you have no idea how to use it? Let me explain. Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and today I'm going to explain you all different options that you can do with Super Cruise Assist, including the one kind of hidden one that is actually very useful. So the first thing, uh, the most common thing you're going to use your Super Cruise Assist for is to guide you to the station. So you pick the station you want to go to, either through system map, like I did here, or you can go to your left panel and pick the station off the list. But once you pick the station off the list on your left, you have to click it and then go to the right. And there's a new option called Super Cruise Assist. Once you click that, it will engage the Super Cruise Assist. The computer will take control over your ship and it will guide you directly to that station. Now let me speed it up for you here and as you can see when it gets close enough that it's safe to drop you to the station it will drop you right outside the station and you're good to go now the next thing you can do with the super cruise assist is use it to get to the planet now there is a little bit of difference once the super cruise gets to the planet as you can see here i'm marking it on the left and once uh, once it gets to the planet it will it won't land on the planet it won't crash into the planet either but it will start orbiting the planet and it will orbit it as long as you want to stop it so to stop orbiting the planet you just have to go to your left panel and unlock the planet that way it will give you back the control of the ship now the next option that Super Cruise Assist does for you is whenever you jump to a different system it will automatically throttle down to zero. So you don't have to worry about crashing into the star, especially one of those big stars that they have kind of higher range where you can crash into. You don't have to worry about that because it will automatically stop the ship for you. Another useful function of Super Cruise Assist is if you go to your left panel and mark the star it will actually orbit the star and fuel scoop for you and it will do it from the safe distance so your ship will never overheat you can go get yourself grab a coffee or something like that you don't have to worry about ship overheating it will just keep orbiting the uh, star for you and fuel scooping for you now to stop it again you go to your left panel and you just unmark the star and you're good to go now to the hidden feature so if you go to your right panel and you go to ship and then flight assistance you can see there's a new menu super cruise assist and by default it sets to auto throttle but you can change it to manual throttle what it does is every time you mark something as a target for super cruise assist super cruise assist won't engage unless you're in the blue zone of your throttle whereas in my case it's kind of yellowish throttle blue zone but you get it if you're anywhere outside anywhere outside that zone it won't engage as you can see here it gives me warning that it won't engage but once i uh, put the throttle down to the blue zone it will automatically activate super cruise assist which will gain the control of your throttle as well as the trajectory now why is it useful well if you see here i marked nav beacon and normally when you get to nav beacon or any other thing you marked you wait for the timer to hit seven seconds and then you throttle down to 75 percent if you miss that seven seconds it gets to six or five you usually overshoot but uh, you won't overshoot with super cruise assist set to manual mode so uh, let me show you here i get i go past seven seconds go down to five seconds and that's when I throttle down to 75%. And as you can see, the Super Cruise Assist will still drop me down into that, that nav beacon without any problem. So thank you guys for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and maybe subscribe. And I see you in the next one.